Welcome to another video for the tutorial series here at Stream 101. Many of our clients use Radio DJ uh, regularly for broadcasting and uh, use it with our service. So we're just going to have a whole tutorial series on Radio DJ and various aspects of it. Uh, our first tutorial, we showed you how to install it uh, with an alternative database in uh, MariaDB, as well as install the uh, AltaCast plugin which is the newer plugin that we're recommending, um, which is taken pretty much over for AdCast. So we're going to show you in this video how to add tracks to the Radio DJ install. Uh, Radio DJ will read any ID3 tags that you have on your, your music files or your MP3 files or whatever format you have. Um, so if you're downloading the songs from iTunes, you're pretty much all set. Um, otherwise, uh, good practice is to go ahead and set those ID3 tags prior to importation uh, into this program, and it just seems to work a lot better. So uh, in order to do this in mass, we'll just go ahead and hit cl uh, click on Tracks Manager. It's going to pop up this menu here. I'm going to hit Import Folder, because I want to import an entire folder. From here, if you haven't already, um, we have the default subcategories set. Um, so we're just going to leave it as uh, in the 2000s uh, for this example. <clears throat> the genre, you can set the genre, but if you have the ID3 tags set, go ahead and check this auto box. It'll read that from the ID3 tags. Uh, we don't necessarily have all of them set, so we're just going to go ahead and just pick one here. We'll just pick country. <clears throat> go ahead and we'll browse. And then we're going to go to our uh, computer. We'll pick our, our folder. Like I said, I'm going to get them in iTunes. So I'm going to just pick my entire iTunes folder. Um, and for this purpose, uh, we're not going to choose the whole music directory just because it's going to take too long to import uh, if we do it that way. Uh, but we're just going to pick one of the, the artists that comes up here. So Big and Rich, for example. We'll press OK. And then we're just going to double check all this data. If you want to set up auto fading, um, Radio DJ does a really, really nice job of setting up auto fading. However, um, you should still probably go in and mess with those settings um, and get it perfectly tweaked to just how you like. Just make sure your tracks are enabled. And then if uh, you have any queue data, if you're migrating from another broadcast software that's able to push ID3 tags to uh, the queue information, it will read that. So if you set it up already for the fading and whatnot, um, we'll hit import directory. Uh, we've got six tracks in there. It takes just a couple seconds to import. You can see that they did in the background. We'll just go ahead and close this. And we'll close this here. Now we see that these songs are imported. And the nice part about Radio DJ is uh, that that's really all the setup that you have to do. As you get more and more songs, we can start playing with the, uh, the playlist manager and, and things like that. And there, there's all sorts of features that, that Radio DJ offers that are just fantastic and it's all free. Um, really highly recommended by us over at Stream 101. And we hope that uh, this tutorial is helpful in adding some tracks to your new radio broadcast software.